In the name of Anna the all Merciful, the Ever-Living, the Bringer of Plurabilities, hallowed be her eve, her sing-time sung, her will be run, unhymned as it is uneven. Her untitled Mama Festa, memorializing the Most Highest, has gone by many names at disjointed times. Thus we hear of the Augusta Augustissimus for Old Sebastius' salvation, Rockabil Booby in the way of Troll, Here's to the relics of all decencies, Anastasia's rise to notice, Nickel down Dodi Gun and Erish Sir Cannon, my golden one and my silver wedding, Amore Tristam and Ice Sisole, Saith a Sawyer Tilles Dream, Ik Dick Dop Dop et to Mihi Mihi, by birthplate for a bite, which of your yesterdays mean ye tomorrow? Ho begun the Hebrew hit Waterman the Brainet, Arcs in his ceiling flee chinks on the floor, Rebus de Hibernesis, the crazier letters, groans of a Britannus, Peter Peepler picked a plot to pitch his popolin, an apology for a big, some such nonan as husband or husbot or husband is probably understood, for we have also the plother plethoric, my huns bund hans bads, a journey to Pothergil gone, and he never has the hour. Ought we to visit him? For Arxes zoo, Cleopater's needlework fixturing Alboroham on the Sahara with the combing of the camels and the parlour's maids of Egypt. Cock in the pot for father. Placiat vestre. A new cure for an old clap. Where portentos did grow, gonder how I'd wish I was a geese. Getrenetti. Thrust him not. When the myrtles of Venice played to Blocus's line. To plenge me high he waves children on friends. Oriman's cue visits Amin Mart. In though I granny a bee, he would fain me cuddle. Twenty of chambers, weighty tin beds in a one set room. I led the life, through the boxer coxer rising in the house with the golden stairs. The following fork, he is my old Jerusalem and I'm his paw. The best in the west, by the stream of Zimzim under Zigzag Hill. The man that made his mother in the Marlbury train. Try our tal on a taub, the log of Annie to the base all. Nopper tipped a nappy wink to his naughty little dancy girls. Princesses Oral Oral, the king of Oral Birds. Into mere mini lips of an exterior monoloth. Drink to him, my jokey, and don't be mine, thy winnowing sheet. I ask you to believe I was his mistress. He can explain. From Victoria Nuance to Albert Nuance. Daza Daisy, so give me all your Hansel too. What Barbaras done to a barrel organ before the rank. Tank and Bonbetel. Huskvi ad mortal. What Jumbo made to Jalas and what Anna said to him. Ophelia's cool prince. Here Hobty Hoblin. My old danch. I am older northern rogues among wished I slips and he calls me his duel of Ayesha. Supports a ventriloquist marries a corpse. Laps for fiends this funny cones week. How the buckling shot at rush in January. Look to the lady. From the rise of the Dodge Republic to the fall of the Potsdil. Of the two ways of opening the mouth, I have not stopped water where it should flow, and I know the twenty-nine names of Atrante. The tortor of Tory Island traits Galicia like his milch cow. From Abigate to Crowley through a lift in the Lude. Smocks for the graces and be aunt for them clod choppers. How to pull a good horoscope even when old sire is dead to the world. In the gleam of Waterloo, father he succeeded to my aspirations. These steps forward, two stops back. My skin appeals to three senses and my curly lips demand column kisses. Gage Street on a cranny's savings. Them lads made a tryon of battle washers and they totties a doit of deers. In my lord's bed by one whore went through it. Mum it is all over. Cowpoy ride by twelve acre terrace and the unique estates of a Mexican. He gave me a thou so I serve him with thee. Of all the wide torsos in all the wide glen. O'Dano, white dono. He's you to me cry. I'm the stitch in his backside, you'd be not without mum, to keep the huskies off the hustings and picture pets from lifting shops. Norsker Torsker find the portal. He'd pursed me here with the ardor of a ton of barks. A boob was weeping, this mora was reaping. Ololin. Up from the pit of my stomach, I swish you the white of the morning. Inglo Andine medalize from Tomini Mohor. The great Polynesial intertrainer exhibits Ballantine brouchers with the link of natures, the mimic of Megneg and the Mackies. Entered as the lastest pig terrier and my poor idiocal at Stitchener's Hall. Sigfied follies and or a gentle home spot pa. See the first book of Jealousy's Pesum. The suspended sentence. 
a pretty brick story for child-sized heroes, as low our sleep. I knew I'd got it in me, so this settles that. Thunderbolt Captain Smith and La Belle Sauvage Pocahontas. Way for wet week relicans Dorchka Marianne, the last of the Fingalians. It was me egged him on to the stork exchange and lent my dutiful face to his customs. Chi chi chills on their china mixon. Picked me up Peters. Lumpty Tum Tumpty had a big fall. Pimp 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 pimp. Measly ventures of two lice and the fall of fruit. The folks family interior. If my spread eagles wasn't so tight, I'd loosen my cursets on that bunch of maggie straps. Alolosha popa fets and hawk caught me eye. Seen apples and thin died. I beg you to believes from love and mother. Fine's fault was no felon. Exact delvin winter life. The flash that flies from Buggy's eyes has set me hair on fire. His is the house that Malt made. Divine views from back to front. Abe to Sarah stood Isaac Nutter till Brom talked him common sex. A nibble at Eve will that Boal relieve. Alpha Guinness. Sounds and compliments Libidus. Seven wives awake awake. Ari Ann and Berber Blut, Amy licks Porter while Huffy chops Aids, a brass of umbrellas or a triple of cans, but butter boost, from the manor lord hoved to the Mrs. O'Malley's and from the dams to their sames. Many festoons for the colleagues on the green, an outstanding back and an excellent half centre if called on. As tree is quick and stone is white, so is my washing done by night. First and last only true account all about the honorary Mirsu Irwicker, LSD and the snake, Nuggets, by a woman of the world who only can tell naked truths about a dear man and all his conspirators how they all tried to fall him putting it all around Lucalizod about Private's earwicker and a pair of sloppy sluts plainly showing all the unmentionability falsely accusing about the raincoats. The proteiform graph itself is a polyhedron of scripture. There was a time when naif alphabeters would have written it down the tracing of a purely deliquescent recidivist, possibly ambidextrous, snub-nosed probably, and presenting a strangely profound rainbow in his, or her, occiput. To the hardly curiousing intimorph list, then, it has shown a very sex mosaic of nymphosis in which the eternal chimera hunter Oriolopus, now frond of sugars, then leaf of salts, the sensory crowd in his belly coupled with an eye for the goods truth bewilder blist by their night effluvia with guns like drums and fondlers like forceps persequestulates his vanessas from floor to floor. Somehow this sounds like the purest cadulion wherein our modern assertion of lore lor is rich. Also hero from us to him in a kitchenot darkness by hazard and worn rolls are red. We must grope on till zero hour, like Paul Algiars, as we are, would we salve out of moments for our eyes sore today. Amosin though not, but. Closer inspection of the Bordeaux would reveal a multiplicity of personalities inflicted on the documents or document, and some provision of virtual crime or crimes might be made by anyone unwary enough before any suitable occasion for it or them had so far managed to happen along. In fact, under the closed eyes of the inspectors, the traits featuring the chiaroscuro coalesce, their contrarieties eliminated, in one stable somebody similarly as by the providential warring of heartshaker with housebreaker and of dram drinker against freethinker our social something bowls along bumpily, experiencing a jolting series of prearranged disappointments down the long lane of It's as simper as the ox house humper. Generations, more generations, and still more generations. Say, Baron Lausador, who in Halhagal wrote the darn thing anyhow? Erect, beseated, mount back, against a party wall, below freezer grade, by the use of quill or style, with turbid or pellucid mind, accompanied or the reverse by mastication, interrupted by visit of seer to scribe or of scribe to sight, atwixt two showers or a toast of a trike, rained upon or blown around by a write-down regular racer from the soil, or by a two-pained whittlewit laden with the loot of learning? Now, patience. And remember, patience is the great thing, and above all things else we must avoid anything like being or becoming out of patience. A good plan used by worried business folk, who may not have had many momentums to master Kung's doctrine of the Ming or the propriety coldestrosis of Capromostimus, is just to think of all the sinking fund of patience possessed in their conjoint names by both brothers Bruce, with whom are incorporated their Scotch spider and Elberfeld's calculating horses.
If after years upon years of delving in ditches dark, one tub thumper more than others, Kinehon or Kanahan, Gyardarnar or Mir Miesen Monongor, has got up for the Darnal same purpose of reassuring us with all the barbar of the Karagi house that our great ascendant was properly speaking three syllables less than his own surname. Yes, yes, less. That the ear of Fionn Irwicker aforetime was the trademark of a broadcaster with wicker local jargon for an ace's patent. Here, calls, everywhere. Then as to this radio oscillating epi epistle to which cotton, silk, or samite, kohal, gull, or brick dust, we must ceaselessly return. Whereabouts exactly at present in Siam, Hell, or Tophet, under that glory soul which plays tour loop with us in this alludance cove of our cagacity, is that bright so and such to slip us the dinkum oil? Nay, sayers, we know. To conclude purely negatively from the positive absence of political odia and monetary requests that its page cannot ever have been a pin product of a man or woman of that period or those parts is only one more unlooked for conclusion leaped at being tantamount to inferring from the known presence of inverted commas, sometimes called quotation marks, on any page that its author was always constitutionally incapable of misappropriating the spoken words of others. Luckily, there is another cant to the question. Has any fellow, of the dime a dozen type, it might with some profit some dull evening quietly be hinted, has any usual sort of ornery jawser, flat-chested fortyish, faintly flatulent and given to ratiocination by syncopation in the elucidation of complications, of his greatest Fung Yang dynasty descendants, only another of the son of, in fact, ever looked sufficiently longly at a quite everyday-looking stamped addressed envelope? Admittedly it is an outer husk, its face, in all its featureful perfection of imperfection, is its fortune. It exhibits only the civil or military clothing of whatever passion pallid nudity or plague purple nakedness may happen to tuck itself under its flap. Yet to concentrate solely on the literal sense or even the psychological content of any document to the sore neglect of the enveloping facts themselves circumstantiating it is just as hurtful to sound sense, and let it be added to the truest taste. As were some fellow in the act of perhaps getting an intro from another fellow turning out to be a friend in need of his, say, to a lady of the latter's acquaintance, engaged in performing the elaborative antisistral ceremony of upstairs, straight away to run off and vision her plump and plain in her natural altogether, preferring to close his blinkheart's eyes to the ethical fact that she was, after all, wearing for the space of the time being some definite articles of evolutionary clothing, inharmonious creations, a captious critic might describe them as or not strictly necessary, or a trifle irritating here and there, but for all that suddenly full of local colour and personal perfume, and suggestive, too, of so very much more, and capable of being stretched, filled out, if need or wish were, of having their surprisingly like coincidental parts separated, don't they now, for better survey by the deft hand of an expert, don't you know? Who in his heart doubts either that the facts of feminine clothiering are there all the time, or that the feminine fiction stranger than the facts, is there also at the same time only a little to the rare, or that one may be separated from the other, or that both may then be contemplated simultaneously, or that each may be taken up and considered in turn apart from the other? Here let a few artifacts find in their own favour. The river felt she wanted salt. That was just where Brian came in. The country asked for Berspa for Dindin, and bounden abounden it got surly. We who live under heaven, we of the Clovery Kingdom, we Middlesons people have often watched the sky overreaching the land. We suddenly have. Our isle is Seng, the place. That stern chuckler, mayhappy mayhap not, once said to Repichin in that Lutheran conservatory way of his that Isita Chapelle a Sita Lucan was the one place, ult ult nort, in this mad val of Tars, whose verdure's yellow did there ever Phaeton parks his car while its tamilized te is the drama of Drainophilius where the possible was the improbable and the improbable the inevitable. 
If the proverbial bishop of our holy and undivided with this mickin or no mickin zot is the quiz tune havermashed with his toenails on the head, we are in for a sequentiality of improbable possibles, though possibly nobody after having grubbed up a lock of quilled corn above his subject, probably in Aristoteles or the Vivli, will go out of his way to applaud him on the unbiased back of his remark for utterly impossible as are all these events, they are probably as like those which may have taken place as any others which never took person at all are ever likely to be. Ahan! About that original hen. Midwinter, fur or cur, was in the offing, and Prember a promise of a prill when, as Kishabregis sang life's old Sahat song, an ice-clad shiverer, merest of bantlings observed a cold foul behaviorizing strangely on that fatal midden or chip factory or comical bottomed cops chute, dump for short. Afterwards changed into the orangery, when in the course of deeper demolition unexpectedly one bushman's holiday its limon threw up a few spontaneous fragments of orange peel, the last remains of an outdoor meal by some unknown sun-seeker or place-hider Illico way back in his mist-ridden past. What child of a strand looper but keepy little Kevin in the despondful surrounding of such sneezing cold would ever have troved up on a strut that was called strut, a motive for future sanity by euchring the finding of the Arduk chalice by another Haley innocent and beach walker whilst trying with pious clamour to wheedle tippera ra ra ri ra putators out of North Salem and spinked of the patch purple of the massacre, a duel a duel to die today, godum and bigod, sticks and stanks of most of the Jacobiters. The bird in the case was Belinda of the Dorans, a more than quinquagentarian, Terzi's prize with Sarni medal, Chipelezi's hen exposition. And what was she scratching at the hour of clocking twelve looked for all this zog's world like a goodish sized sheet of letter paper originating by transshipped from Boston, Mass, of the last of the first to dear whom it proceeded to mention Maggie well and Ullathom's health while well, only the hate turned the mild on the Van Houtens and the general's elections with a lovely face of some born gentleman with a beautiful present of wedding cakes for dear thank you Christy and with grand fun for all of poor father Michael don't forget unto life's and Muggy well how are you and Maggie and hopes soon to hear well and must now close it with fondest to the two winds with four cross kisses for holy Paul holy corner holy poly holy island P.S from locust may eat all but this sign shall they never affectionate large looking touch it of tch. the stain and that a tea stain the over of the master bilker here as usual signing the page away marked it off on the spout of the moment as a genuine relic of ancient irish pleasant pottery of that lydia like languishing class known as a hurry me or the hazy why then how Well, almost any photoist worth his chemicots will tip anyone asking him the teaser that if a negative of a horse happens to melt enough while drying, well, what you do get is, well, a positively grotesquely distorted macro mass of all sorts of horse happy values and masses of melt while horse. Tip. Well, this freely is what must have occurred to our missive. There's a sod of turb for you. Please wisp off the grass. Unfilthed from the booker by the sagacity of a look me little like me long hin. Heated residence in the heart of the orange-flavoured mudmond had partly obliterated the negative to start with, causing some features palpably nearer your pecker to be swollen up most grossly, while the farther back we managed to wiggle, the more we need the loan of a lens to see as much as the hen saw. Tip. You is feeling like you was lost in the bush, boy? You says. It is a pooling sample jungle of woods. You must shouts out. Be thick at me for a stump of a beach if I have the poultryest notions what the fairest he all means. Gee up, curly! The quad gospelers may own the targum, but any of the Zingari shulerim may pick a peak of kindlings yet from the sack of old Hinsign. Lead, kindly fowl! They always did, asked the ages. What bird has done yesterday man may do next year, be it fly, be it molt, be it hatch be it agreement in the nest. For her socio-scientific sense is sound as a bell, sir. Her volucrine automutativeness right on normalcy. She knows, she just feels she was kind of born to lay and love eggs. Trust her to propagate the species and hush her fluffballs safe through dinner into danger. Lastly but mostly, in her genetic field it is all game and no gammon. 
She is ladylike in everything she does and plays the gentleman's part every time. Let us auspice it. Yes, before all this has time to end, the golden age must return with its vengeance. Man will become dirigible. Agu will be rejuvenated. Woman with her ridiculous white burden will reach by one step sublime incubation. The main wanting human lioness with her dishorned discipular man ram will lie down together publicly flank upon fleece. No, assuredly, they are not justified. Those gloom pourers who grouse that letters have never been quite their old selves again since that weird weekday in bleak Genevieve. Yet how palmy date in a waste's oasis. When to the shock of both, Biddy Doran looked at literature. And, she may be a mere Marcella, this midget majesty, mistress of arts, but it is not a hear or say of some enormous letter, signed Toga Gerilis, Teasy dear. We have a cop of her fist right against our nosy boss. We note the paper with her jotty young watermark, Notre Dame du Bon Marché, and she has a heart of Aaron, what lumilates as she folds with her felomineers and her nadia nods. As a straw will shah, she does the wind bleg, recting to show the rudeness of a robber curling and shewing the fancies of a frisette. But how many of her readers realize that she is not out to dizzle-dazzle with the great uncouthrament of postmantuum glassaries from the Lapins and the Greeks? Nothing's on her wild life. Grab our good and grandy for old Almianium etymologists like Daria Marius and Zovo Tremasarov Marev Morovian. <laughs> she feel plain plate one flat fact thing and if... Last ways first wise, a man alone's sign anion anions utaras has no rights to don a kick at with anion anchors about tutus milking fours and the rareres on the outer and asking the tutus to be for harder. Think quickly X in every pastures ick sticks like in Sahima round hers the Magarby kinking can can with down mind looking gated. Mesdames, Marmosalis, Mercefs, Silverpies, all Schwanz, Schweiz, ist tell the cook's truth about him. Kapak kapok. No menzies matter. He had to see life foully, the plaque and the smut. Schweitz. There were three men in him. Schweitz. Dancings. Schweitz. Was his only two feebles. With apple harlots. And a little mulvogels. Specially. Schweitz. When they peaches. Honey's war camellia paints. Yours very truthful. Add dapple in. Yet it is but an old story. The tale of a tree stone with one you sold, of a mons held by tent pegs and his pal Wathaloost on the run. What Cadman could but Badman wouldn't, any Genoman against any Venice, and why Kate takes charge of the waxworks. Let us now, weather, health, dangers, public orders and other circumstances permitting, of perfectly convenient, if you please, after you, please please, pardoning mine, ik bim so frisch, be? Drop this jiggery pokery and talk straight turkey, meat to meat. For while the ear, be we Michaels or Nicholists, may sometimes be inclined to believe others the eye, whether browned or nolinsed, find it devilish hard now and again even to believe itself. Habis ares et num videbis? Habis oculos ac manapulpabut? <laughs> Drawing nearer to take our slant at it, since after all it has met with misfortune while all underground, let us see all there may remain to be seen. I am a worker, a tombstone mason, anxious to please every berries and jolly glad when Christmas comes his once a year. You are a poor joist, anxious to please nope bobbies and tunabelli solely when tis time took our home, gin. We cannot say eye to eye, we cannot smile nose from nose. Still, one cannot hope noticing that rather more than half of the lines run north-south in the Nemses and Bukharahast directions while the others go west-east in search from Malaysis with Bulgarad for. Tiny tot though it looks when Jdishup nestling alongside other in Kunabala, it has its cardinal points for all that. These ruled barriers along with the traced words, run, march, halt, walk, stumble at doubtful points, stumble up again in comparative safety seem to have been drawn first of all in a pretty checker with lamp black and blackthorn. Such crossing is anti-Christian of course, but the use of the homeborn chilla as an aid to calligraphy shows a distinct advance from savagery to barbarism. It is seriously believed by some that the intention may have been geodetic, or, in the view of the Kanyar, domestic economical. 
but by writing thitherways int to int and turning, turning, and int to int hitherways writing and with lines of litter slittering up and louds of latter slattering down, the old simatomy place and drop it back again from them let rise till home lit. Sleep, where in the waste is the wisdom? Another point, in addition to the original sand, pounce powder, drunkard paper or soft rag used, any vatter in hanger in all sorts social can see the scene for himself. A wee fdofty old room, the cheery spluttered on the one carrig, a darker dachine of voos from Dalbania, any god's quantity of racky, a Portugal and some book setting out on the sofa. You remember the sort of softball sucker Motro used to tell us when we were all birabias or nippies and mesas. It has acquired accretions of terraceous matter whilst loitering in the past. The tea time stained terminal. Say not the tag, mummer, or our show's a failure, is a cosy little brown study all to oneself and, whether it be thumbprint, maid mark, or just a portrait of the artless, its importance in establishing the identities in the writer complexus, for if the hand was one, the minds of active and agitated were more than so, will be best appreciated by never forgetting that both before and after the Battle of the Boyne it was a habit not to sign letters always. And it is surely a lesser ignorance to write a word with every consonant too few than to add all too many. The end? Say it with missiles, then and thus arabesque the page. You have your cup of scalding sochong, your tapers wax and drop, your cat's paw, the clove or coffin nail you chewed or champed as you worded it, your lark in clear air. So why, pray, sign anything as long as every word, letter, pin stroke, paper space is a perfect signature of its own? A true friend is known much more easily and better into the bargain, by his personal touch, habits of full or undress, movements, response to appeals for charity than by his footwear, say. And, speaking anent Tiberius and other incestuous salacities among gerontophils, a word of warning about the tenderloined passion hinted at. Some soft-nosed peruser might mayhem take it up erogenously as the usual case of spoons, prostituta in urba plus dinky pinks deliberatively somersaulting off her bisex cycle at the main entrance of the curate's perpetual sauté suit with her one to see and a woe who picks her up as gingerly as any balm bearer would to feel whereupon the virgin was most hurt and nicely asking where have you been so grace amarling and where were you chased me child be who farther potential and so wider but we grisly old psychos who have done our unsmiling bit on alice's when they were young and easily freudened in the penumbra of the procuring room, and what oracular compression we have to apply to them. Could, did we care to sell our feebot silence in camera, tell our very moist-nostrilled one that father in such vigorated contexts is not always the undemonstrative relative, often held up to our contumacy, who settles our hash bill for us, and what an innocent olibrod's adverb such as McKelly looks like can be suggestive of under the pudendoscope, and, finally, what a neurasthen nymphalept, endocrine pineal typus, of inverted parentage with a prepossessing drama present in her past and a preopic urge for congress with agnates before cognates fundamentally is feeling for under her lubricitous meiosis when she refers with liking to some feeler she fancies face. And, mm, we could. Yet what need to say? Tis as human a little story as paper could well carry. In effect, as singing so Salomon susuing to Switfitlis while as unbluffingly Bertabrusque Bront as an Ezra, the cat, the cat's meter, the meter's cat's wife, the meter's cat's wife's half better, the meter's cat's wife's half better's meter, and so back to our horses. For we also know, what we have perused from the pages of I was a general, that shouting up of Bolshevism by Schottenbaum, that Father Michael about this red time of the white terror equals the old regime, and Margaret is the social revolution while cakes mean the party funds, and dear thank you signifies national gratitude. In fine, we have heard, as it happened, of Spartacus intercellular. We are not corknered yet, dead hand. We can recall, with volunteers, the froggy Jew, and sweeter far, twere now west thinks in Dumble's fair city, ere one more year is o'er. We turned our coasts to the good gay tunes. When from down swords the sea merged, the old oath guns and answer made the bold odwyr. But, est modest in verbos, let a prostitute be who so stands before a door and winks or parks herself in the fornix near a Mekosan wall. Sensen, Sensen, and the curate one who brings strong waters. Jenchen, Jenchen. But also, and dinna forget, that there is many a sleeps between Somiathom's first and more Naslan's last, and that the beautiful presence of waiting Kate's will until life's. 
be more than enough to make any milk mug in the language of sweet tarts punch hell's hate into his twin Nicky and that Maggie's tea, or your majesty, if heard as a boost from a born gentleman is. Hmm? For if the lingo gasped between kick sheets, however basically English, were to be preached from the mouths of wicker church wardens and metaphysicians in the row and advocatos, alvoyos, demavoyels, langoths, lesbians, dentels, gutter howls, and furts, where would their practice be, or where the human race itself were the Pythagorean sesquipedalia of the Panepistemium, however aptly volapoki, grunted and gromweld, Ichabod, Habakkuk, Openoff, Ugamig, Hapaxel, Gominon, <laughs> over country styles, behind slated dwelling houses, down blind lanes, or, when all fruit fails, under some sacking left on a coarse cart? So hath been, love, tis tis, and will be, till wares and tears and ages. Thief us the night, steal we the air, shall thine or lie fest, mine. Here, or oh here, insult the fair, traitor, bad hearer, brave, the lightning look, the birding cry, all from the grave, ever flowing on the times. Pure Gusario, Jordan water, now godson shine on Minday's daughter. A good clap, a poor marriage, a bad wake, tell hell's well. Such is Manowife's lot of lows and win again. Like his grown quiskers on whose chin again. She plucketed them out, but they grown in again. So what are you going to do about it? Oh dear. If Jonas she saved, aho! Ah and if Yulon he poved, the Olod Stoliolum, from Quikwe Quinat to Michimicha Chile, and a Joba Batista to Brulo Brulo, it is told in sounds in utter that, in signs so adds to, in universal, in polyglottural, in each auxiliary neutral idiom, sorta mutix, flore lingua, shelter folkle, flay flatter, a cons cuban, a prostitute, strass rab, ir perse in any thong athal. Since nosy Nanette tripped palmy ways with high ho hairy, there's a spurt fire turf, a kind o kindling, when oft as the sauce off blows her peaties up, and a clay pot wet for thee, my seeties, and tulka tulka tell Tibbs has eve, and withal. Revelous life, proving I the death of Ronald's when wind power wine has bucked the kick on poor one man. Biliousness has been biliousness during millions of millenniums, and our mixed racings have been giving two hoots or three jeers for the grape. Vine and brew and Pieters in New Amsterdam and Paulis where the Paulis go and rum smelt his int for him and he dined off South American. It would give one the friar even were one a normal kettle liquor. This old world epistola of their weatherings and their marryings and their burryings and their natural selections has cumbled tumbled down to us first and made it all ours like an old cup on tea, as I was hot in me saucer. Ha <laughs> ha! And as you was called in your dodgy hovel. Ho ho! She told the tale or her tune. <laughs> now, capnemancy and infusionism may both fit as tight as two trivets, but while we in our wee free state, holding to that pre-statute in our charter, may have our irremovable doubts as to the whole sense of the lot, the interpretation of any phrase in the whole, the meaning of every word of a phrase so far deciphered out of it. However, unfettered our Irish daily independence, we must vaunt no idle dubiosity as to its genuine authorship and holus bullus authoritativeness. And let us bring the seas to beakerings on that clink, almond bottler. On the face of it, to vault back to our desultory horses, and for your roughshod mind, Baffalost Bull. The affair is a thing once for all done, and there you are somewhere and finished in a certain time, be it a day or a year or even supposing. It should eventually turn out to be a serial number of goodness gracious alone knows how many days or years. Anyhow, somehow and somewhere, before the book flood or after her ebb, somebody mentioned by name in his telephone directory, Cocalanius or Galatorus, wrote it, wrote it all, wrote it all down, and there you are, full stop. Oh. Undoubtedly, yes, and very portably so, but one who deeper thinks will always bear in the back bocus of his mind that this downright there you are and there it is is only all in his eye. Why? Because, so from Babel, if it goes to that, and dormer window gossip will cry it from the housetops no surelier than the writing on the wall will hew it to the mod of men that mote in the main street. Every person, place, and thing in the chiosmus of Ale anyway connected with the gobbly dumped turkey was moving and changing every part of the time. The travelling inkhorn, possibly pot, the hair and turtle pin and paper, the continually more and less intermisunderstanding minds of the anti-collaborators, the as time went on as it will variously inflected, differently pronounced, otherwise spelled, changeably meaning vocable script signs. No, so help me petart, 
It is not a misaffectual wyacinthinous riot of blots and blurs and bars and balls and hoops and wriggles and juxtaposed jottings linked by spurts of speed. It only looks as like it is, damn it. And sure, we ought really to rest thankful that at this deleteful hour of Dongfly's dawning, we have even a written on with dried ink scrap of paper at all to show for ourselves. Tear it or leave it. And we are lifted to ourselves as the soul fisher when he led the cat out of the bout. After all that we lost and plundered of it, even to the hidmost coinings of the earth, and all it has gone through, and by all means, after a good ground kiss to Terracosa and for war's luck our leftoffs flung over our home homoplate, cling to it as with drowning hands, hoping against hope all the while that, by the light of philosophy, and may she never forsage us, things will begin to clear up a bit one way or another within the next quarrel of an hour and be hanged to them as ten to one they will too, please the pigs as they ought to categorically, as strictly between ourselves. There is a limit to all things, so this will never do. For, with that farmfrau's foul flare for that flayfell fox fater, the calamites calamitous calling for calamitous calamitants, who that scrutinizing marvels at those indignant whiploop lashes, those so prudently bolted or blocked rounds, the touching reminiscence of an incompleted trail or dropped final, a round thousand whirligig glorioles, prefaced by, alas, now illegible airy plume flights, all tiberiously ambi embellishing the initials majuscule of Earwicker, the mint to be baffling Chrisman Trilithon sign, <coughs> finally called after some his, his hesitancy, heck, <coughs> which, moved contra watchwise, represents his title in sigla as the smaller, <coughs> fondly called following a certain change of state of grace of nature, alp or delta, when single, stands for or tautologically stands beside the consort, though for that matter, since we have heard from Cathay's circles how the hen is not merely a tick or two after the first, fifth, fourth of the second, eighth, twelfth, Xiang Chang Hong Kong Sanchinol, but yarly the other and thirtieth of the ninth from the twentieth, our own vulgar four thirty two and eleven thirty two, irrespectively, why not take the former for a village inn, the latter for an upside down bridge, a multiplication marking for crossroads ahead, which you like pothook for the family gibbet, their old four wheedler for the buckers field, a tea anyway for a tryst some day and his one side missing for an all blind alley leading to an Irish plot in the Champ de Mors, not? The steady monologai of the interiors, the pardonable confusion for which some blame the cudgel and more blame the soot, but unthanks to which the peace with their caps awry are quite as often as not taken for cues with their tails in their oar and are quite as often as not taken for pews with their tails in their mouths. Then Sir Christopher Columbus, hence our cat Presbyterians, the curt witty watty dashes never quite just right at the trim trite truth letter, the sudden spluttered petulance of some capitalized middle, a word as cunningly hidden in its maze of confused drapery as a field mouse in a nest of colored ribbons, that absurdly bulls-footed bee declaring with an even plainer dump show than does the mute commoner with us how hard a thing it is to porn a gentleman, and look at this pre pronominal funfara, engraved and retouched and edge-wiped and puddin-padded, very like a whale's egg farced with pemmican as were it sentenced to be nuzzled over a full trillion times for ever and a night till his noddles sink or swim by that ideal reader suffering from an ideal insomnia. All those red rattled obli cayenne pepper cast over the text, calling unnecessary attention to errors, omissions, repetitions and misalignments. That, probably local or personal, variant maggers for the generally accepted majesty, which is but a trifle and yet may quietly amuse. Those supercilious looking crisscrossed Greek is awkward like perched there and here out of date like sick owls hawked back to Athens. And the Gigi's too, Jesuistically formed at first, but afterwards genuflected agrily towards the Occident. The Ostrogothic cacography affected for certain phrases of Etruscan stable talk, and, in short, the learning betrayed at almost every line's end. The head strength, at least eleven men of thirty two palfrey craft revealed by a constant labor to make a gimel pass through the eye of an iota. This, for instance, utterly unexpected sinistrogeric return to one particular sore point in the past, those thrown open w's of an early muddy Turanian origin, whether man chooses to damn them agglutinatively, lu, tu, blu, fes, ek, or ilvudapihol, or tanskorts, topplefowls. Seated with such flop right down determination and reminding us ineluctably of nature at her naturalist while that fretful fidget f, the hornful digamma of your borna barbar, rarely heard now save when falling from the unfashionable lipsis of some heterosexual, used always in two bold faced print types, one of them as wrong headed as his Claudian brother, is it worth while interrupting to say? 
throughout the papyrus as the revised mark. Stalks all over the page, broods pff, sensation seeking an idea amid the verbiage gaunt, stands dejectedly in the diapered window margin, with its basket of bay leaves all aflutter about its forks frogs, paces with a frown, jerking to and fro, flinging phrases here, there, or returns inhibited, with some half-halted suggestion, <coughs> dragging its shoestring, the curious warning sign before our protoparents Epissima Verba, a very pure nondescript, by the way, sometimes a palm-tailed otter, more often the arbutus fruit flower leaf of the cane apple, which paleographers call a leak in the thatch or the Aranman ink perwis through the hole of his hat, indicating that the words which follow may be taken in any order desired. Hole of Aaron man the hat through the whispering his ho. Here keen again and begin again to make sound sense and sense sound kin again. Those haughty pitched distorted eiches easily of the rarest in as droll as most of the jaywalking eyes as we do plough into halve. Unconnected, principial, medial or final. Always gems in the jam. Sahib, as pipless as threadworms. The innocent exhibitionism of those frank yet capricious underlinings. That strange exotic serpentine since so properly banished from our scripture, about as frequing a wetter hand now as to see a right-headed lady white donna cork horse, which, in its invincible insolence ever longer more and of more morosity, seems to uncoil spirally and swell lacertine lazily before our eyes under pressure of the writer's hand. The ungainly musicianlessness so painted in sculpting self-sounder uh -huh, as black-artful as a podatus and dumbfounder uh -huh, oprorios as tin cannons in skelterfugue, the studious omission of year number and era name from the date, the one and only time when our copyist seems at least to have grasped the beauty of restraint, the lubricitous conjugation of the last with the first, the gypsy mating of a grand stylish grave digging with second bust buns, an interpolation. These munchables occur only in the Boothabroth family of Imasas, Cod the fourth, Pap the second, Breck the eleventh, Lun the third, Din the seventeenth, Sop the thirtieth, Fulop sixteen ninety. The scoliast has hungrily misheard a dead man's toller as a muffin bell. The four shortened ampersands under which we can glimpse at and feel for ourselves across all those bush years the warm, soft, short pants of the quick scribbler. The vocative lapse from which it begins and the accusative hole in which it ends itself. The aphasia of that heroic agony of recalling a once-loved number leading slip by slipper to a general amnesia of misnomering one's own. Next those R's. Rrr. Those R's all bellical. The high priest's hieroglyph of kettletom and odds bones, rasted red-handedly from our hallowed rubric prayer for truce with booty, or remus pro romulo, and rudely from the fan's pinnacle tossed down by porter to within an aim's ace of their quatrain of ruby jets among those who, arse without the temple nor since rose distillery burned, have quaffed night's fire-filled cup, but jig-jog-jog as day the dice-box throws. Wang. Loyal six I lead. Out where your hearts bleed. Blast ye. And there she is for you, sir. Wang her, the fine omen, rose to her lobster locks, the Rossi. Wang, God and Omara has it with his ruddy old villain Rufus. Wait, Wang, God and you're another he hasn't, for there's my spoil five of Spud's trumps. Wang, why can his pig's kings kiss her for him? K.M. Omara, where are you? Then, coming over to the left aisle corner down, the cruciform postscript from which three Besha or shorter and smaller oscula have been over carefully scraped away plainly inspiring the tenebrous tunk page of the Book of Kells. And then it need not be lost sight of that there are exactly three squads of candidates for the Crucian Rose awaiting their turn in the marginal panels of Column Keller, chugged in their three ballot boxes, then set apart for such hanging committees, where two was enough for anyone, starting with old Matthew himself. As he with great distinction said then, just as since then people speaking have fallen into the custom, when speaking to a person, of saying two is company when the third person is the person darkly spoke of. And then that last labiolingual basium might be read as a suavium if whoever the embracer then was wrote with a tongue in his, or perhaps her, cheek as the case may have been then. And the fatal droop at dwindle slope of the blamed scrawl, a sure sign of imperfectible moral blindness, the too muchness, the far too manyness of all those four-legged ims. And why spell dear God with a big thick D? Why, oh why, oh why? The cut and dry axe and wise form of the semifinal, and... Eighteenthly or twenty-fourthly, but at least, thank Maurice, lastly when all is said and done, the Penelopean patience of its last paraph, a colophon of no fewer than 732 strokes tailed by a leaping lasso. 
Who thus at all this marvelling but will press on hotly to see the vaulting feminine libido of those interbranching ogum sex sweeps sternly controlled and easily repersuaded by the uniform matter-of-factness of a meandering male fist? Duff Mugli, who now may be quoted by very kind arrangement. His dectroscophonious photosensation under supersonic light control may be logged for by our none-too-distant futures as soon as stone values can be turned out from chromophilemos, limited at a millicentimet the microamp. First called this kind of padigoesy partnership, the Eulichian or tetrachiric or quadromane or ducks and drakes or debts and dishes perplex, versus some forestallings over that studium of sexophonologistic schizophrenesis, volume 24, pages 2 through 555. After the well-informed observation, made miles apart from the master by tongue-toid. C.F. Later frustrations amongst the Neomoglian teachings abaft the simium conscience. Basm. That in the case of the little-known periplic best-teller popularly associated with the names of the wretched mariner, tray and foreign def we doff our plumb-socked pattern shape-keeper. A Punic Admiralty report from Macpherson's ocean round by the tides of Jason's cruise had been cleverly capsized and saucily republished as a dodecanesian Baedeker of the every tale a treat in itself variety which could hope satisfactorily to tickle me gander as game as your goose. The unmistaken identity of the persons in the Tiberius duplex came to light in the most devious of ways. The original document was in what is known as Hanno or non Hanno's unbrookable script, that is to say, it showed no signs of punctuation of any sort. Yet on holding the verso against a lit brush, this new book of Morsis responded most remarkably to the silent query of our world's oldest light, and its recto let out the piquant fact that it was but pierced but not punctured, in the university sense of the term, by numerous stabs and foliated gashes made by a prolonged instrument. These paper wounds, four in type, were gradually and correctly understood to mean stop, please stop, do please stop, and, oh, do please stop, respectively, and following up their one true clue, the circumflexuous wall of a single-minded men's asylum, accentuated by bai so f rok ingl a san spl ich inna, yard inquiries pointed out, <coughs> that they had been provoked, I fork of a grave professor, ath is break, fast, table, acutely, professionally, pecoin, to mm, introduce a notion of time upon a plane mm, su, mm, mm, fa, si, by punct in sick in mm, space deeply religious by nature and position and warmly attached to thee and smear bread and better and him and new ladies it was rightly suspected that such ire could not have been visited by him professor prendergast even underwittingly upon the ancestral numa of one whom with Roma, he venerated shamelessly at least once a week at Coxburgh Common as his apple in his eye and her first boy's best friend and, though plain English for a married lady, misled heaps by the way. Yet when some peerer or peeress detected that the four-leaved shamrock or quadrifoil jab was more recurrent wherever the script was clear in the term terse, and that these two were the selfsame spots naturally selected for her perforations by damn partlet on her dung heap, Thinkers all put groan in waterung spill for pratland only, and a playful foul and musical me and not you in any case. Two and two together, and, with a swarm of bisses honey hunting after, a sigh for sime, oh, the petty bonny rogue, separated modest mouths. So be it. And it was. The letter making of the exploits of Fjorgen Kamhelsen when he was in the Kvin's country with soldiers' men. With acknowledgement of our fervour of the first instant, he remains years most fainfully. For post scraps see spoils. Though not yet had the sailor sipped that sup, nor the humfar foamed to the fill, and fox and geese still kept the peace around Laubarge du Père Adam. Small need after that, old Jeremesilum, old Huffsnuff, old Andy Cox, old Olicassandrum, for quizzing your weekenders come to the RQ with, shoots off in a hiss, muddles up in a musmas, and is holds the dismantled noon drunkard's son. Howbeit we heard not a son of sons to leave by him to oceanic society in his old man without a thing in his ignorance, Tulko Makhuli. And it was thus he was at every time, that son, and the other time. The day was in it, and after the morrow, Darmud is the name is on the writing chap of the Psalter, the juxtajuncture of a dear mate, and he passing out of one desire into its fellow. The daughters are after going and losing for him, Torba's nice lookers of the fair neck, wanted for millinery servants to elderly's person by the taughty Askinses. 
formerly confounded with her mother. Maybe growing a mustache, did you say? With an adorable look of amusement? And uses no-class billiard halls with an up-and-down ladder? Not Hans the courier. Though had he had have only had some little laughings and some less of cheeks, and were he not so worried by his bulb of persecution, he could have, I and would have, as true as Essex Bridge. And not go gaff go gossip, I declare to man, no! To all as much relief, one's half-hypothesis of that jabberjaw ape amok the showering just notes of Brusinos was hotly dropped and his room taken up by that odious and still today insufficiently malestimated note snatcher. Cat, pu, bosh and fiety, much ernie, goss, potin? Says you! Shem the penman.